I'm going to show you all the tips and tricks to making that perfect homemade sweet chilli sauce. And I'm going to start off with these large red chilies. So one of the advantages of making your sweet chilli sauce at home is that you can tailor the taste to exactly how you like it. Now these large red chilies, they're really mild. You can literally eat them like a capsicum. So these are giving you the colour and the texture. So if you'd like to keep your sweet chilli sauce mild, use more of these and less of the spicy ones. And also I like to leave the seeds in because I'm not afraid of the, the spicy chilli. The spicier the better for me. But if you would like to leave the heat out of this, take that white inner seed part um, the white pith plus the seeds out and that again is going to keep it mild. I just need a rough chop here because I'm going to put these in the food processor. And now for the spicy part. I'm using some of these bird's eye chilies. You can use whatever spicy chilies that you've got locally and of course leave these out for a mild sauce or add more if you want it super spicy. And then here's another tip. So I'm going to add some garlic. If you are a garlic fan, add more. Uh, my base recipe is pretty garlicky, so try that first. If you're not a fan, you can leave the garlic out or just use less. Again, we just need a rough chop on those garlic cloves. Okay, so we're not looking for a paste here. We just want a chop. So pulse um, the vegetables rather than letting them blend. Next we want to make our saucy part. So I've got some sugar and some water. Now you'll find the recipe for this on my website with all the weights listed out so it's really easy for you guys to follow. Now I'm going to add some vinegar, some salt and a little bit of fish sauce. So the fish sauce is optional. You could leave that out just to add a little bit more salt but I kind of like that umami flavour that the fish sauce adds. Now to add all that gorgeous colour and flavour. Now you just want to let this simmer until the sugar dissolves uh, and that raw edge of that garlic has softened and that chilli is nice and soft as well. So don't let that mixture boil over your saucepan. Once it comes to a simmer, just turn it down a little bit and just let it bubble away for about five minutes. Okay, so our base sauce is smelling and looking delicious. Now comes the all important texture part. So what we want to do is make sure our sweet chilli sauce has a beautiful thickness that just allows those garlic and chili pieces to be beautifully suspended in the sauce. But we don't want it too thick. We don't want it like a jam. So my tip is to use potato starch. So potato starch you'll find in the baking section of most supermarkets. The alternative is corn starch or corn flour. They're the same thing. It's perfectly fine to use that as well. But the potato starch will actually give you a clearer sauce. It doesn't go as murky as the corn flour. But the tip is to mix it with a little bit of water. And this is the same as you would do with corn flour. But the important thing with potato starch is to make sure you're adding it at the end of the cooking. If you boil potato starch too much, um, it loses its ability to thicken your sauce. So we're almost at the end here. I've got the heat on low. I'm going to pour in this water and potato starch mixture. Now I'm just going to gently, gently cook this just a little bit longer. And I can see it's already starting to thicken up. I'll turn that heat off now and what will happen is as this cools down it will thicken up a little bit so don't worry if it's not quite the right texture yet. So once that's cool pour that into a jar and you can keep that in your fridge for about two to three weeks. I guarantee you it won't last that long though. And look at that amazing glistening rich red colour. Spicy, garlicky, my perfect sweet chilli sauce. Thank you.